I guess. I'm gonna try to make it really short. But I know it's the summertime and I know it's really hot, but I like to bring a cardigan with me because sometimes I just feel some places inside are really, really cold. And so I just bring a cardigan with me. How many of you guys do that? How many of you bring a cardigan with you or like a sweater or something? in the summertime into a different facility or a building. Let me know in the comments below. We're almost there. He's like really focused on driving. We're here, so I'll see you guys later. Hello everyone, so I am back. Church went well. I am now at Walmart. I need to do a quick run at Walmart. My husband needs coffee for this week. <laughs> he ran out of coffee. I'm gonna run inside and grab some coffee and something else that I also need. And it's really, really hot. So my hair is just pulled back today because it's like really hot, really stuffy in here. It's, yeah, so I'm gonna do a quick run and I'll see you guys in a little bit. everyone um, today was such a beautiful day uh, it was very lovely um, very hot the sun was shining all day a long day as well and I apologize for the lighting right now I know the lighting is very terrible but it is the evening time it's like after 5 or close to 6 p.m. or so so I'm so sorry about the lighting but I hope you can still hear me 
So I just want to quickly recap what we learned in church today, uh, the message of today's sermon, and I figured I will go over it as I uh, fold this laundry with you all. Today's sermon covered Matthew 6, 19 through Matthew 6, 25, and it's in regards to feeling anxious or overcoming anxiety. So what does God say about worrying, over worrying, worrisome, and anxiety, things of that nature. So basically, God says not to worry. He is in control. He does provide. He provides for the birds. So why would he not provide for you? God has a will for all of us, and we shouldn't worry about what's to come. Not to say I don't go through anxiety. I do go through anxiety myself, of course, like many other people. It's very common. But... When I am feeling anxious, I do refer to this Bible verse, Matthew 6, 19 and 6, um, 25. And it's just about how God will deliver to us or he will provide to us in his perfect timing. The interesting thing about this verse or like the this passage is that it's not about God providing for us for fancy things like a brand new car you know, a Ferrari or a brand new fancy watch and a fancy vacation and things like that. Um, this Bible verse is particularly explaining how God will provide basic needs. It speaks on clothing and shelter, food, things like that. And whatever is done should be done in the glory of God. Feeling worried and anxious is not going to add any length on to our lives. It's not going to make our lives any longer. So that's all I just say in this video. Feel free to go ahead and research those verses and I hope it helps you along in your journey of knowing Christ. And so it is almost time for dinner. <laughs> I am starving. So thank you guys for coming along with me to church and some activities I had to do for the day. Feel free to follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes and day-to-day -day activities that I do and just for more content as well. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video.